Just who is hoodwinking who? <laughs> We watch 60 Minutes, so you fucking don't have to, all right? So That's you're a welcome. You're welcome. That's so we're gonna uh, we're gonna watch than getting fucked for this money. article with this sideswept lady. It's called From 5G Towers to Bill Gates Inside the COVID-19 Conspiracy Theories. Who is hoodwinking who? There's no doubt COVID-19. <laughs> Immediately you lost. <laughs> Just straight away. Oh, I love commercial journalism. What? Honestly, like we're two minutes, two seconds in, and I, I'm, I'm dead because like, who is when have you, someone's would be someone. When's the last you watched TV like this, like TV, TV? I haven't watched TV consistently since I worked at Channel Seven and had to as part of my Bitch, job. That was like the '90s. It was uh, mid 2000s, which is essentially the '90s. It was a long time ago. Look how funny um, it is. It's, it's all very um. It's it all seems like satire. Like it seems. It like, seems like Kent Brockman from Smart Line does. on The Simpsons. Um, uh, and they, they <laughs> It's infotainment. Let's check the death count from the killer storm bearing down on us like a shotgun full of snow. America was ahead of Australia in terms of the utter murdocratized degradation Ooh, of what the media and the news that, is you? meant to be. I did just then. Murdocratized. Um, uh, but we're getting there. Someone should pay and you money. To come up with words like that. <laughs> I'll just portmanteau and shit all over the place. All right, let's play on this garbage. Just who is hoodwinking who? There's no doubt COVID-19 has caused great uncertainty in the world. Okay, uh, did they blue his eyes up so he looks like a children of the corn? A little bit. Like, yeah. I'll zoom in on his that. His hypnotic on laser eyes. Okay, like, I yeah. realize again that we're only nine seconds in, but like, oh, there's a fucking lot forever. going on. For the scientists doctors and even politicians who are working to figure out ways to beat the virus. Well, yes, if you believe an increasing number of increasingly angry people who are convinced coronavirus is nothing more than a sinister plot to control their lives. But what do these conspiracy theorists know that we don't? Nothing. <laughs> Why are so many people listening to them? Cause you give them a platform! Because there's two things that are important in life. It's truth and it's freedom. Shocking and horrific Australian government fascist lockdown. COVID-19 has created a perfect storm. COVID-1984. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> perfect storm for conspiracy theorists. It's all a mind game. I love Stop the way they were present. Keyboards. <laughs> Do you know what I would like? I would like some green numbers on black background <laughs> scale enough. Yeah. What yeah, is, is it the Matrix? Or you better fucking believe it. Fucking. Around the world, we're seeing them become more vocal and typing. A oh, man in a hoodie typing. Hacker. Fucking nothing, mate. Like you, you just you forget how out of touch the majority of people are. Watching this feels like I'm watching like that. A parody from a the parody. 90s about the news. Yeah. It just. What if? You know what? Our, you guys, our parents are watching this and they think it's the fucking news. It's insane. It's so I mean, look, funny. anyone who watches commercial television is buying, like, are you going to sit there and let them tell you when to watch your programs? Are you fucking insane? <laughs> All you ever knew was a lie. They think that much of what they're being told by the authorities, by the scientific and medical world, by the media is a big fat lie. We want information fat and we want the truth. The truth doesn't change. Why have we seen this uprising, do you think? People who may never have... Oh, Tickles the cocaine from his nostrils. Who is this fucking asshole? Pete Evans, okay, magic chef. So I think we should look up this guy's like credentials, but I'm pretty sure he's a fucking chef. Some things just don't add up. The theories are as numerous as they are nonsensical. From 5G towers and vaccines spreading coronavirus to suspicions the virus was unleashed deliberately by Bill Gates, or that a cabal of elites are intent on taking over the world. For most of us, their ideas that are simply unbelievable. Did they have hide the pain, Harold? Was one of the, it's the, the internet uh, the internet historian's um, avatar. It's, oh. Like he was in there. <laughs> It's this is footage from the protest we did the uh, the review yeah. of the review oh, four stars. But to those leading the charge, where the 
crazy ones if we don't start paying attention. Ugh. It's the level of lies I believe we're being Wait, so this is the guy who organized the protest uh, that we broke down for Mother's Day. This is Thanos. It seems more about control than preventing the spread of the virus. This guy's cracked the code. The people with all the money are controlling us. Do you reckon he read that on the internet? Yeah, you don't fucking say. Like, it's, it's only been like that since one human gained power over another by saying, do you want this? Well, I'm going to keep it from you until you paint my shed. Like... You know, do you think that sometimes people have it in for you uh, who are in power? Uh-huh. Do you yes. think sometimes those with power abuse their power? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe, you know, they want to keep you down so they can keep keep having yep. power over you? Uh-huh. Do you think they're all gathering together on an evil island at the base, at the fucking Legion of Doom's headquarters and they're sacrificing lambs and no. engaging in satanic rituals? No. no, that's a bridge too far. 37-year-old Thanos Panayidis is an ordinary bloke from the burbs of Melbourne. Do you feel like a rebel? A newcomer to the world of total distrust. We are here to ask questions and have them answered because things don't make sense. To you! At a protest a month ago, he took centre stage before being arrested. A dramatic introduction to his new role as a leader of the anti-lockdown movement. I'm just some dude from Epping. What is this dude from Epping going to do now that the lockdown isn't a thing? Do you oh, think his okay. power is just going to diminish? No, I'm sure. There's still a sinister cabal running the world. I mean, you know. He should really do something about that. Bill Gates hasn't gone away. <laughs> to be honest. So, what happened? How did you find yourself in this position? When I felt that what's going on wasn't totally above board, where I believed the world is moving towards, um, I became concerned. For what? Look, I've always known and believed there are certain um, controlling interests in the world that are looking towards a one world government, one world currency, and that's a good thing as long as the people at the top have the people's best interests in mind. Because if they don't have the common man's interests in mind, then that's a very dangerous thing. So this is not a new idea in any way whatsoever. And I like how he talks about like he's unturned this instead of him becoming he's radicalized like, by other people's work. He was I doing... spent five days listening to Alex Jones and I realized. Just two months ago, Fennis gave up his job training security guards. And now he has a ring light and a mobile phone. To set up an online group that now has 60,000 members. Hey guys, how you going? And he speaks to them from his lounge room about his fears for the world. We're the people, mate. If we don't want the vaccine, we're the people, not you. You don't make the decisions for us. I was overwhelmed by the amount of people that were in sync with what I was saying. You see this thing here? This thing here is called a television. Tell a vision. He's got good eyes. <laughs> He'll need him for that big TV. What does he mean, television? It tells you. encouraged his supporters to make a show-stopping statement. No longer will we be programmed. He showed them how. Tell Tells us what to do. Oh my I've been told God. what to do about this television. What tells me what to do? Oh. Fuck it! You can hook the internet up to it. The television itself isn't the issue. It's what you watch on the television. Do you also think, like, this, the reach to go for... Tell a vision. It's telling. Like it's not. Look, it look, like nothing appeals to conspiracy theorists like shitty wordplay. Notice playing oh, paranoid in the background <laughs> by uh, Black Sabbath. They want it to be used in this context. The overwhelming lies. Suburban Australians. Well, it won't light, but you get the picture. A protest against mainstream media. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah, I know. Why? I said to myself, look, at the end of the day, if the media want to paint you as something, they're going to paint you as it anyway. So you might as well at least have a voice and just come on and just be you. We all know that a war is going on right now. And it's not just a COVID biological war. It's a war about ownership over your body mm. and your mind. This would be another piss take music it's choice. This is the life. Is that? <laughs> is this how you would like it to be? Barefoot, hearing the ocean, having a surf. I mean, this is. I'm just, you can't. I'm just walking on me privileged feet. What a cunt. Like, 
Not everyone gets to live right next to a beach, but here I am with my millions of dollars from selling bogus anti-cancer machines to chumps. For a long time now, celebrity chef Pete Evans <laughs> has straddled two very different worlds. Sure Fucking know. crazy. Okay. And the other one. To the more than a million and a half people who follow him on social media, he's paleo Pete. And you just replace the buns with mushrooms. Promoting a diet of low carbs. Hey, what's the breath work called? Served with a side dish of what Crazy. he calls expanded consciousness with a dog of conspiracy. Are you a skeptic? I, it's a good question if I'm a skeptic because I have a very healthy skepticism about everything. Or are you deeply suspicious? <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. Um, hmm. uh, oh. Why are we both like? I feel like I want to be sick. Why does he bring so much oh. repulsion? I'm not particularly familiar with Pete Evans because I don't watch terrible programming. Uh, well, I do. You're not familiar with him wrestling. in the context of him like bringing up insane bullshit. But I've not. No, I've not watched him. I've never watched. No, him not watched. Interview. But you're, you're fam like you're familiar with him because he's done crazy. Like he was trying to peddle right. a thing that cured coronavirus. I was coming into this not wanting to be. Uh, pfft, I know you're shit because someone else told me you're shit. Because that's how fuckheads form opinions. So I'm like, all right, cool, I'll hear him out. And my skin is crawling. Then why is it crawling? I, I don't... Oh, it's fucking fake. I'm so... Flash is fake teeth. I'm so glad you asked me that question. That uh, softball question because we're still media mates. Yeah. So, yeah, came in open-minded. Didn't want to make the blanket judgment because, you know... Yeah. Judging yeah. someone based on a joke someone else meant is kind of hacky. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. And I also am suspicious because history has shown us that, I mean, even science, and you know this as a fact, science has been bought by vested interests. Did he just, like, basically neg her <laughs> to her face? You know as, this. As, as, as a, a smart what you As a hard-hitting journalist at Channel 9. Different fields over the years. Pete has attracted plenty of suspicion himself, with controversial views on everything from sunscreens to dietary advice. Most recently, he copped a large fine for spruiking a $15,000 biocharger lamp. It's programmed with about a thousand different recipes. There's a uh, couple of fixing fucking coronavirus! Virus. Which he claimed could help those with COVID-19. Uh, it's on my website if anyone's interested. His social media pages have also given exposure to some of the more bizarre theories surrounding the virus. It's you posted, for example, um, a shot of Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you do you think he is part of a conspiracy? I don't know. And that's and that's the wrong answer. <laughs> also, it's it's a real Weasley thing to say as Did well. Did you see the picture? It's Bill Gates holding, I think, two blue pills. Two blue pills. I love the. I don't want to. Put my name on it. it. But then it's, literally put your fucking name on it on what it everywhere. Is, it's the same Use your as, platform for good, you massive cunt. But it's the equivalent of people who uh, will put something on Facebook and because they maybe want to retain a shred of credibility in a broad like, sense, they'll be know. like, hmm, makes you think, doesn't it? No! Own it, shithead. If you're going to share this garbage, knowing that other people will... Re you know, doing it with the arrogance of assuming people don't consume media intelligently... Own the opinion you're sharing. Don't just share the oh David Icke. Interesting, isn't it's it? Not interesting. No, it's not interesting. No, own the position or don't fucking Yeah. Spread it it's throughout disgusting. the world. You'd put that up on your Facebook, yeah. for example. And why do you do that? Because if you don't buy into it a bit. Because what Bill is suggesting, and every single interview that he has done recently, is suggesting that the world will not become safe until every single person on the planet has been vaccinated for this. But what makes you think yes. he would force that, even if you thought that? I, I, because he seems to be having a lot of influence with certain areas. Just like you, Pete. I don't have the ability to put something into your body. So you, the comparison between I'm not me sure Bill and Gates can put it into your body either. Well, here we go. Like, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean you don't know? The health organisation, the one that does that, is it the government's? Is it... I love how he's like, is it, is it, yes, it is. It is the government. It's not Bill Gates. Making statements framed as questions it, for the quality it, of deniability. Is it? <laughs> Could be a great story for you to look at. <laughs> oh. What a god! Oh my god, I have never, like, just the urge. Like, I have just, like, this urge to just, like, I don't know, like, again. The slime. Just, I want to wash my hands and my face and my butt. You make my face do this and I look gross and I fuck, like, just, oh. You're fucked in the head, mate. So in closing, do a bit of research yourself. <laughs>
look into it. Does Bill Gates want to put a microchip Does inside he? you? Uh, oh. For the record, we're actually pro-chip. It's oh, uh, Joseph interviewed chip. the guy in I... Sydney who put his Metcard chip Meow. in his hand. Yeah, it's uh, transhumanism. Move with the times. Come along, hit. cunt. That said, the man is out to get you. He's out to get all of you. Fear all authority. And uh, as Buy the great bullshit. sage Ronnie James Dio said, the world is full of kings and queens who blind your eyes and steal your dreams. It's heaven, hell, and apparently the new world order.